No, I, the, I think the things that we are learning here are going to have spillover benefit to other areas. You know, we for too long have taken for granted influenza. All right. Yeah, sure. And, and there'll be 50 to 60,000 people will die every year in this country. There'll be 40 million people, 50 million people infected every year. Well, it's because it's become ingrained as an expectation that we haven't done anything. I think what we're learning from this will have a run over. Let me give you some, some examples. Um, uh, first off, uh, just the ability to monitor. We use tools like something called ProtectWell. It's a, uh, it's a platform that allows people to identify that they have symptoms before they come to work and will give them advice as to whether they should go to work or stay home. All right. That provides us an ability to, to track. The second thing is when we start seeing that kind of data, we can start looking at it. We're starting to see clusters of infection occurring elsewhere. Uh, elsewhere. And whether it's COVID or influenza or some other novel infection, like we know we're probably going to get every four to five years, as you can recall, we have an ability now to start looking at, you know, are we starting to see evidence that we have something happening in the workplace? Because what does that allow us to do? It allows us something that we weren't able to do with this pandemic, which is the ability to identify test and isolate the individual who may be infected to contact trace those around to find out if they've been exposed to test and to quarantine those that may have been exposed so that way we can contain these things at a very early time and by doing that kind of you know uh, uh, testing isolation uh, contact tracing and quarantine, this thing doesn't have a chance if it comes back a second time. 